Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be why chasing women causes rejection. I've got an email here from a guy. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it because this guy, when I, it's amazing when I read emails from guys like this, it's like reading from a page of my past. I mean, this guy's doing everything basically that I used to do wrong and obviously you're going to see in a second why he's not getting the success that he wants. So he says, he says, I need help with this girl. She's 18 and I'm 30. I met her when she was 15. I'm an artist and so is she but her brother chills in my studio all day every day. I asked him if I can date her at first and he said nah it's up to her it's a good brother the three of us went to an art gallery and her open mic poetry and he was always making sure not to leave us alone and gave us a bad feeling like he was gonna watch us the whole time I wouldn't say it was both of you was was getting the bad feeling I say it was you were getting the bad feeling and what this tells me was that you were shy you didn't want to possibly get rejected and where he would see it. And the reason he's looking in is because he wants to make sure his sister feels safe and comfortable. He doesn't want to hook her up with one of his buddies. And more than likely, he can probably tell that you really don't understand what you're doing and you don't understand how to interact with women properly. So he wants to make sure you don't obviously piss off his sister. So he says here, um, a month pass, and me and her texting, text mostly by trading poetry. I only called her twice in the three months because he's always around or it wasn't the right moment. Now, here's the deal. Guys that are successful with women, it's, we want to know right away. It's like, honey, are you in or are you out? Not that we're going to say this to a woman, but you want to be able to read her level of interest in you Tell that she obviously likes you because you want to go out with a woman who has mutual interest in you. You don't want a chick that's going to go out with you and spend your money when she has no romantic interest because it's better than staying home looking at the four walls. And so you got to learn to recognize and, and understand the signs. I go in, in detail in my book about, you know, is she flicking her hair when you're talking to her? Is she asking you personal questions about you and your life and what you're up to? Does she stand too close? Does she lean in when she's talking to you? Does she reach over and touch your arm? If you're walking down the street together, does she bump into you occasionally? These are signs that a woman has romantic interest in you. And like I said, guys like me, we want to know. It's You ask them out for a date right on the spot. Hey, how about a coffee date? Hey, how about let's meet for a drink? Obviously, she's 18, so you're not going to be going out and, and meeting her someplace to have a glass of wine or something like that. But you can have, meet at a restaurant and have a cup of tea or a glass of coffee or something like that. Or You can do something. And the key is, is to set a date and get to the point. Because what happens is when you do what you are doing is that you end up getting caught up and you waste months of your life. I mean, it's three months from what I can tell here has gone by of your life where you're fixated and focused on this one girl who more than likely probably wasn't even interested in you to start with, but you didn't know what to look for because you hadn't read my book yet, obviously. So he says here, I texted her on the 4th of January. I've been, th I've been thinking of some things. I'm smart. I have a lot of things going on for me. I'm destined to be somebody great. I want you and your influence in order to reach a higher artistic level. Basically, what you're doing here is you're seeking her approval. You're basically saying, hey, here's my resume. Here's my pedigree. Will you please go out on a date with me because I'm going to have a great future and I'll be an awesome catch. You're basically seeking her approval. And guys that do that do that from a position of weakness. In other words, either she doesn't like them to begin with or they don't feel that they are good enough to be with her. And so they start using, thinking, hey, logic and reason will cause her to like me. Well, here's, here's an answer. I used to teach sales and I still do a lot of sales consulting even to this day. But when, I, when you are training salespeople, 
it's common knowledge that you know if if you're being trained by somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing when it comes to sales that people buy based upon emotion and they use logic and reason to justify their purchase now when it comes to women women choose you and will go out with you and will feel attraction for you based upon the emotions that you make them feel when you're interacting with them and you want them to feel good emotions by joking around, laughing, having a good time. Because love is playful and fun. It's not serious. So, <clears throat> he says here... So I mean, so you're, you're basically... It's, you're trying to use logic and reason to get this girl to feel attraction. And what you should be doing is focusing on getting her emotions engaged. And you do that by making sure she has a good time. Making sure she's laughing, teasing her, being playful with her treat her like the bratty little sister you probably could pay attention and watch how your your buddy interacts with his little sister to get an idea of the playfulness and that's how you want to be it's like you're getting all serious here and then when you say uh i, I want you and your influence in order to reach a higher artistic level that's a bunch of bullshit what you're really doing is you're beating around the bus, bush. What you really want is you want her to go out on a date with you, but you don't have the guts to ask her, or you don't know how to ask her. And so you're talking around in circles. These are the kinds of things that women do when they're trying to give a guy a hint that, hey, I'm available and I like you. And so what you're doing is you're acting like a woman around a woman. And all she's going to do is interact with you on a friend basis or like a male girlfriend basis when you act like a woman and through your actions and what you're doing you're basically communicating that you don't understand attraction and you don't obviously you're not very successful at interacting with women on a romantic level this is what you're communicating to her through her, your actions and the way you're going about doing this because these are the these are the things that women look for when they're trying to screen guys out he says you don't have to hide your face behind too much makeup. Life is too short. Open your heart. I accept you like you are and for however you will be. P.S. I will cook you dinner sometime. You're basically what you're saying. It's like you're trying to bribe her with dinner. A real man just gets right to the point. It's like, I'd like to take you out to dinner. When are you free this next week? Simple. Just like that. Get to the point. Not all this airy, fairy poetry just kind of bs nonsense talk where you're you're basically trying to communicate hey i like you and i want to go out with you but i don't know how to say it and she replies what's on your mind obviously she knows what you're getting at but this is what women usually do they act well what do you mean and because they're they want to make sure they want you to come right out and say what's really going on and so you're not and so and then he responds, how is a rabbit like a plum? And then he responds when he doesn't hear from her, what's on my mind is you. And she never replies. And so obviously what, what happens here is you send several more texts when she hasn't responded. And here's another thing. A lot of, most women won't admit this, but the ones that do, they'll, they'll, perp, they'll tell you that they purposely won't call a guy back or they won't text him right away. Why? Because they want to see how he reacts. Because guys that are needy, that are insecure, guys that become stalkers, they get pissed off and they get upset and they do exactly what you are doing, which is you didn't hear back from her, so you become scared, you become unsure of yourself, and you're trying to get some certainty by trying to force some kind of interaction with her when she doesn't respond. And all this does is continue to make it worse for you and bl totally blow your chances, which I don't think you really had a chance with this girl to begin with because she hasn't done anything, at least that you've mentioned here, that would communicate that she's, she's giving you any kind of signs or indicators that she has romantic interest in you. Um, it's just a bunch of things. Always illuminate the dark. If you weren't producing, it's like this stuff is just, I mean, really, it's not, gonna, it's not helping your case. I understand you're an artist and you're a poet and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, a woman wants a guy who acts like a man and who knows how to get to the point and sets up a date with her. And this has been going on for months. And so obviously she can, she knows at this point that you like her and you really 
don't know how to go about expressing that or, or asking her out on a date. And the reason she's ignoring you is because she doesn't want anything to do with you. You've, you've turned her off and you've made her feel awkward and uncomfortable here by the way you've interacted. So the first thing I would say to you is you need to download my book. There, there's you can there's links right on my web page. It's only ninety nine cents at Amazon dot com, and if you d read the book, you'll start to learn the basics of attraction, pickup, dating, relationships. So you can start applying these things and interacting with women who actually are showing you signs of interest because you're projecting your interest level onto this girl, and you're not paying any attention to see if she has any interest in you. You know, I know it's popular in the movies and TVs that if you just are a pest and you continue to chase after her in this way and of course you'll magically win her and that's just not the case in real life besides you want to be going out with and spending your time with women who actually are reciprocating your interests because otherwise you're going to be a pretty unhappy guy and plus you're going to empty your wallet going on a dates with women that you have no romantic shot with and so if you find this message of value, you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar, which is on the bottom of your screen, if you're watching this video on my website, and click the PayPal Donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. At the very least, please share this page with all your friends and family by clicking any one of the social network sharing buttons, which are also located on the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen. And if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, or there's a topic that you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, just click the Contact Me tab, which is on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me three or four paragraphs detailing your situation. And just give me several days to get back to you with a detailed response, because I get a ton of email, and I've obviously got to concentrate on my paying phone coaching customers' emails first. And if you'd like to book a paid phone coaching session with me personally so I can help you with a specific situation or a challenge that you have, click the Products tab, which is located at the top of your screen on my website, and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.